What's going on guys, Ryan Martello here at the Crypto Fiend Studios, bringing you guys the hottest, the latest, and everything crypto related news. I hope you enjoyed that little short film in the beginning. I felt like it was very necessary since net neutrality did end yesterday, but fortunately we do have some stratum to take its place. Now today we're going to be looking at 5 cryptocurrencies that I think have the potential to over a thousand times within the next couple years. These are honestly just sleeping giants waiting to explode. So let's just jump right into it. Now, these aren't in any specific order, but the first one we're going to be looking at is ION. Now, I've tend to notice that a lot of people overlook the ION project because maybe they don't fully understand it or they don't know about it, but the ION project is pretty big and pretty impressive. The ION network is a multi-tier blockchain network designed to support a future where many blockchains exist to solve unique industry problems and to power the services of the modern world. ION will become the common protocol used for these blockchains, enabling more efficient and decentralized systems to be built. The ION protocol enables the development of a federated blockchain network, making it possible to seamlessly integrate dissimilar blockchain systems in a multi-tier hub and spoke model similar to the internet. So to sum up all that for you guys, ION wants to be the common protocol used for all of the blockchains. Uh, so as of right now, all these blockchains cannot communicate with one another. It just can't happen. ION wants to be that center hub for the blockchain universe where all these blockchains will be able to communicate with one another because they use the common protocol of ION. So that's really the whole fundamental of what ION is trying to achieve. I'm not going to go into too much more detail into it because we have a couple others to look at, but that's ION for you guys and I definitely think it's one you should look into. For the price movement, $3.99, we'll just call it $4. With an all-time high of $11.11, .11, ION is at an excellent buying point right now. Um, ION really does have a strong team and community, um, and they're really keeping up to date on their roadmap. So those are all the things you want to see in a project, uh, and ION is doing that. So I do see big things for ION in the near future. I By the end of this year, I would not be surprised if we saw a $20 to $30 ION, and if ION was higher up in the rankings. So next on our list, we have Substratum. Of course, Substratum is going to be on this list if it was in the intro. Um, so to start things off, Substratum is a sleeping giant. There's no way around it. Uh, Substratum's main focus is to decentralize the web. So what does that mean? They want to make it so that you can view anything on the internet that you want and no one can do anything about it, whether it's a government, the president of the United States, no one can bother you or access what you're viewing on the internet. And that is pretty mind boggling. Um, so some great use cases for Substratum is like people over in China that have crazy regulations on their internet usage, whether it's social media sites or Google or even crypto currencies in general and if you really think about it the united states has pretty big regulations as well and it's kind of scary to think that the government can view what you access on the internet uh, even if you're potentially using a vpn so what substratum is trying to solve is that problem they're trying to decentralize the web uh, so how they would make it work is they would have a node um, where people would be hosting websites for the users. So I could go on the internet, access the internet while using the Substratum network, view anything I want, and no one can view me or access my data that I'm, uh, that I'm uh, viewing. So this is huge. Um, with the roadmap right now, they're doing phenomenal. They uh, recently surpassed their alpha testing uh, back in March, February, March, um, and they're in their beta right now. And their beta is going so, so well. Uh, Justin Tab, one of the lead team members, was actually able to tweet um, on his Twitter account the other day from using the Substratum network. So that is a huge milestone in itself. And uh, this mainnet is going to be launched very soon. And when this happens, I think the use case for Substratum is just going to be phenomenal. Uh, I've, I've tend to notice that the majority of mainnets that get launched in the cryptocurrency uh, market don't do that great. It's really just a pump and dump. But with Substratum, I think it may be an exception where when it does get launched, the main net, I think it's the, the price is just going to do phenomenal because the majority of cryptocurrency enthusiasts could potentially be using Substratum. Substratum could be that one VPN that everyone uses for cryptocurrency so governments can't snoop in on what you're doing. And that, that alone, I think, it speaks for itself. Uh, so that's Substratum for you guys. If we go over to the uh, the price movement, 
uh, it, it's doing very well right now. About 30 days ago, it was 30 cents, so a little more than doubled since then. Um, and I think it's just going to slowly but surely grow from here. You see this steady growth over the past month, and I think it's going to continue um, with that anticipation up to the main net and after. Uh, so with an all-time high of $3 and... We'll say three dollars and thirteen cents. You cannot go wrong at these prices, and you have to think of the long-term use of Substratum. Substratum could be a huge, huge company, huge, huge project. Uh, in the in this perspective, that everyone in cryptocurrencies could use Substratum, and if that's the case, Substratum could be in the top ten. And I know that's kind of hard to think of right now uh, because you have to be realistic, but that's that's where Substratum could go um so i'm very very excited for substratum and where it could go in the future and uh, until then we're just gonna have to wait uh, by the end of 2018 i could easily see substratum at least around ten dollars and i think that's a very accurate price um for substratum to be with we do have about six months to go in this year and uh when substratum gets their main net launched i think substratum is just gonna Go to the moon. Simple as that. So the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be Elastos. Elastos is a project that got released onto the blockchain not too long ago. And uh, the price movement isn't doing all too hot. But I think it's still a very, very undervalued project that has huge potential. So Elastos is a very technical project. So I don't want to just sp splur stuff out to you guys and give you uh, the incorrect information so we're going to read a couple of these bullet points so what is elastos like elastos has a couple different sectors for their overall project they have the elastos carrier the elastos carrier is a completely decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network platform it is very important infrastructure and supports elastos for decentralized application development and operation you have, you have Elastos Runtime. The Elastos Runtime runs on top of its customer devices, ensuring a reliable runtime environment. Developers will be able to build an, an Elastos DAP with a digital currency broadcasting feature. The Elastos VM makes sure that all listed cryptocurrencies are under the control of several, several blockchains, which provide users with digital contents for consumption and investment. Elastos SDK. Conventional applications can extend their uh, capability through the, an SDK. The SDK includes modules for authentication, trust records, and other typical blockchain functions. The vision is for Elastos to become a blockchain aircraft carrier, which will support the large decentralized applications. So, pretty, pretty, pretty up there. Elasto, Elastos wants to be that network. Think of Elastos as its own, um, its own web, its own aircraft carrier that carries all of the other decentralized applications. Um, so think of Elastos as that big boat, and all of the airplanes and jets on top are Ethereum, Lisk, Neo. Um, icon all those decentralized applications platforms now elastos main focus is being able to integrate all of these dApps uh smoothly um while still having everything separated and kind of having its own ecosystem and the benefits of having an own your own ecosystem is that you know malware and malicious sites and viruses cannot get in without having that initial access that invite into the network into the web um, so that's the broad perspective of what Elastos is. Um, to better understand it, you really have to go in depth into the white paper. Uh, but overall, Elastos is a very important project going on right now uh, that I think is very, very undervalued. They have a lot, a lot of um, important team members, a couple of people over from Neo, and one of their partners is Neo and Antpool. Um, so Elastos, I think, is going to do great. Simple as that. If we go over to the price movement, we can get a better understanding of the price movement. Uh, Elastos isn't doing so great right now from the relative all-time highs back in February when they really just got out onto the market. They hit a high of $90, and right now they're about half of that at $45.86. So they're an excellent entry point, in my opinion. Uh, they have been working their way up from that dip we experienced where they hit around 
25 dollars um, but here on out, I think we may see a slow progression in Elastos price movement. Elastos tends to move very slow in their price movement uh, because people are really waiting for their project to get up and going. Um, but with this circulating supply as well, that's just very appealing to me, 5 million. And the market cap is just so, so undervalued for this cryptocurrency. If Elastos gets their product out there, get they 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 do what they're saying they're going to do, where they are the aircraft carrier for cryptocurrency decentralized applications. And you gotta realize that all those decentralized applications create all the other cryptocurrencies. So Elastos could be the aircraft carrier for all of cryptocurrencies, which could be pretty huge. Um, so as of right now, I don't really have a price prediction for Elastos. I definitely think we will surpass all-time highs of $90 probably very soon um, but until then by the end of 2018 you could easily see over $100 Elastos uh, so that's Elastos for you guys the next one we have to look at is going to be Nebulous so next up we have Nebulous thinking in blockchain we all know Nebulous Nebulous is the Google for cryptocurrencies Nebulous wants to be a platform well they are a platform where you can anyone can integrate blockchain information into their mainnet and in doing that uh, you can access Nebulous to get information about those those blockchains so that's the simple rundown version for Nebulous and I think it's going to be a very large project in the near future they actually just released their uh, mainnet a couple weeks ago uh, it didn't do too much for the price movement but it's nice to see that they're getting stuff done getting progress going all that good stuff and uh, potentially nebulous could be the Google for cryptocurrency so you have to think about it in that perspective is where uh, you could go to nebulous to get your information about cryptos instead of going to Google and all those other platforms so if we go over to the price movement for nebulous uh, Nebulous is doing pretty good right now, six dollars and seventy-two cents, eight percent up on the day. Uh, in the past, this past like month or so, they haven't been doing too hot, but no cryptocurrency has been doing that well. Uh, but everything's starting to pick up again with an all-time high of around fifteen dollars. This is an excellent time if you're interested to maybe make a position about fifty percent down. Uh, so overall, a two hundred thirty-eight million dollar market cap. Nebulous is so so undervalued right now and has so much potential in the future i would not be surprised if we saw a 50 dollars nebulous by the end of uh 2019 2018. now the next cryptocurrency we're going to be looking at is going to be komodo komodo is a cryptocurrency no one really appreciates and i don't really hear anyone ever talking about but it definitely deserves some light komodo is a way of creating your own blockchain which is huge you know there's like decentralized applications well komodo you can create your own blockchain so think of it kind of as like creating ethereum or neo off of komodo which is huge and komodo is having phenomenal progress with their platform um so down here they actually have like an example of how they you could help they can help you promote your ICO and all that kind of stuff. And their big thing is about being decentralized. Everything is decentralized on Komodo. So they have the crowdfunding where you could do it on your own, or they have the premier partner where Komodo will actually help you promote your own ICO. Uh, so the Block Nation is going to be the first decentralized ICO coming off of the Komodo platform. And Komodo also has a um, decentralized exchange in beta right now called Barterdex. So that's cool to see as well. And overall, Komodo is a pretty big project that definitely is very undervalued and hopefully we'll see some light very soon. So if we go over to the price movement for Komodo, Komodo, $4.13 with an all-time high of around $12.89. So about one-third the price right now, that is a steal for Komodo. And if Komodo keeps up with what they're doing, I think they will do phenomenal in the space. Like the majority of these cryptocurrencies are going to do, uh, but Komodo, definitely interesting project to look into. Now, before we go into one other thing, I want you guys to notice with these five cryptocurrencies, now before we go into anything else, one thing I want to explain to you guys the five cryptocurrencies we looked at we have ion substratum elastos nebulous and komodo if you've noticed a a um a pattern between these five cryptocurrencies it's that they're all large projects that need to have 
that other cryptocurrencies need to be supported off of. So you have ION. Other dApps will need to be supported off of ION. You have Substratum. Substratum is a lot larger than that. Substratum will be supported from many cryptocurrency enthusiasts as well as people not even involved in the crypto space. You have Elastos. Every cryptocurrency could potentially be running off of the Elastos aircraft carrier. You have Nebulous, which will be the Google or the search engine for cryptocurrencies. And then you have Komodo, where you can create your own blockchain. So with these five cryptocurrencies that I think are very undervalued, they are sleeping giants because they all have huge, huge potential to be massive in the crypto space in the sense that everything could potentially be running off of those cryptocurrencies. So that's why I chose those five. And with the pricing of all of them, the, I think all of them are below $500 million in market cap, uh, which in my view is undervalued, especially for some of these projects. So that's my reasoning for choosing these five. And I think they have so, so much potential and are gonna do phenomenal in the future. So the last thing I want to show you guys is actually today's video sponsor, Cryptvisor. They're a really cool platform in general. Cryptvisor is the most secure social and business communication network on the blockchain. Uh, their main focus, what they want to be known for, is being unblockable, unstoppable, completely decentralized, and having the highest level of encryption. Um, so let's go down and look at their features real fast. This is an app for your mobile device as well as desktop, iPad, etc. Uh, so these are their features. You have full HD calls, so kind of like Skype or FaceTime where you can communicate with your friends and family. You have group calls, so you can have automated calls with multiple people. You have file sharing, so you can actually send large, large amounts of data over this platform, which is a really cool feature that I actually use uh, where you can send unlimited data. And you have instant messaging, very similar to text messaging. Crypto wallet, so you can store your favorite cryptocurrencies. And security settings, so you know everything is secure. Uh, these are their uncompromising essential features because you want to make sure a platform like this is secure, especially when you're sharing very important information. Uh, automated encryption, so like I mentioned earlier, they use the highest level of encryption uh, that the military and the governments use intrusion detection so you don't have to worry about any bro any bugs or viruses multi-device support so you don't have to just use your phone you can use the desktop or your ipad you can and also secure syncing so you can have all your data and information synchronized over all of your devices so Overall, this is a really cool platform. Uh, it's it's an it's an app that you can get on your phone if you just want to check it out on your phone, or they also have it for the desktop version. They actually are ha they only have their beta out right now, but tomorrow they're coming out with their official version on April 25th. So I actually have this app on my phone. I've been using it for a little bit, and it's a very convenient app if you have a lot of friends or family members that are cryptocurrency enthusiasts, where you talk about cryptocurrencies a lot. Use this because it's decentralized and it has this this high level high level of encryption that you don't have to worry about and all these awesome features to talk to your friends and family especially the unlimited data sending uh feature which is the one i like the most so let me know down below what you guys think about this app i definitely think it's something you should just check out see if you like it or not all that good stuff uh the last thing for you guys i know this is a long video and I appreciate you guys staying till the end if you stayed till the end. Um, I did create a new Telegram group. This is for alerts from myself only. It's not going to be the group with all community members. Um, I created this group for announcements for the Crypto Fiend channel, as well as news regarding cryptocurrencies and market trends and really everything cryptocurrency related. So if you are interested in the announcements for the Crypto Fiend chat, uh, go over and uh, click right here and join that group. Um, and you can get announcements from me as well as we will still have the community chat if you want to speak with a bunch of investors uh, all you have to do is go to telegram and type in crypto fiend and you'll be able to see it it'll pop up it's called crypto fiend community chat and you can join that one as well so that's the video for today guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button mash it right in the face and i will catch you guys in the next video